Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss chapter first that is electric charges and field. This is the class 12 physics paper first CBSC board pattern. So chapter first electric charges and field consist these points. So today we are going to discuss this first part and upcoming videos we are going to discuss this remaining parts so in this first part we are going to discuss introduction and second is electric charges so in uh, we are familiar with that there are mainly two type of electric charges one is the positive charge and another is the negative charge if we have considered the body the body which consists the number of positive and number of negative charges are same or equal at that time we can say that that body is neutral but when the charge there is a deficiency or excess of charge on that body at that time we can say that that body get electrified so all these things we are going to discuss in this video so without waiting let's start So first we will discuss introduction here what will happen when in a dry weather we take a sweater or synthetic clothes we have observed spark or hairy crackles why because that sweater or synthetic clothes get charged and due to their charged body they will showing the sparks or crackles when we seen in a sky lighting during the thunder storms we have shielding from a plastic or insulating chair then touch to the metal we have also observed the electric shock so what will happen suppose we have sit on a bus in a seat that is insulating seat and just we have still on that seat and just we have touched to the metal object at that time we have feel the electric shock all these above example are observed due to the discharge of electric charge from certain or our bodies so what will happen so once we have sitting on the plastic chair or wearing shorts or synthetic cloth at that time the cloth cloth or sweater or uh, insulating plastic we have sealed and due to that sealing the charge get accumulated to our body and our body get uh, electrified and when our body is touched to the metal at that time that charge gets transferred to that metal and that's why we have observed the electric shock so first electrostatics so electro means which is related to the charge and statics means which does not change with time statics means which does not change with time and electro means which is related to the charge due to electric charges due to electric charges what will happen due to electric charges there is produced the electric forces among the charges electric field also produce the potential and due to the electric charges they are produce the field forces and potential electrostatic which deals with the study of electric forces electric field and electric potential electric charges electric charges are mainly two types one is the positive charge and another is the negative charge so here we want to discuss some example and by using that example we can understand what type of charges are there and how the body get electrified so if we have took the two glass rods if we took the two glass rod and that two glass rod we have rub on slick silk cloth or wool at that time what will happen the glass rod brought near to the each other 
they get repelled to each other so how suppose this this one is glass rod and this another is also the grass glass rod these two glass rod we have rub on this silk cloth or wool similarly this another second glass rod also we have rub on this silk cloth or wool at that time what will happen due to rubbing the charge get transfer and due to charge get transfer so one body get excess charges and one body get deficiency of charges so there is what will happen due to rubbing the charge get transfer and both the body get electrified both the body get electrified and due to that it will producing the forces and we, we will observe such things here so what will happen both this rod we have rub on a silk as well as wool at that time what will happen suppose one one rod we have attached to the string or hang which after rubbing it acquired the charges which acquire positive charges so what will happen so initially both these are the neutral but when this glass rod is rub on this silk cloth or wool at that time the electron from a glass rod transfer to the silk cloth or wool so that's why in on the glass rod there is a deficiency of the electrons so the glass rod become as a positively charged and this silk cloth, silk cloth or wool get excess negative charge so this become as a negatively charged similarly for this also so here what will happen one glass rod we have hanged and another glass rod which is second glass rod after rubbing which acquired the positive charge and that glass rod brought near to the brought near to the this rod so after uh, uh, brought near to this rod so what will happen that rod get deflected that rod get ripple so how so when the second glass rod brought to the first glass rod at that time what will happen it get ripple so why it get ripple because there is creating the forces so why because both the rod acquire the positive charges and due to that positive charges they get rippled to each other similarly this after rubbing this silk cloth as well as this uh, second silk cloth both acquire the negative charge both acquire the negatively charge and both having the same kind of charges and due to the same kind of charges they can ripple to each other they can ripple to each other so we can say that like charges ripple to each other and unlike charges attracted to each other so here what will happen here is the like charge they can ripple to they can ripple to each other similarly here also the negative both uh, both the silk cloth or wool both this pieces which having the same kind of charges and they get rippled to each other so similarly suppose we have take the two plastic rod so similarly here we have to two plastic rod and this two plastic rod we have rub on a cat's fur so what will happen similarly the when this plastic rod we have rub on this cat fur similarly another plastic rod we have rub on this second cat's fur so what will happen so after rubbing the electron is transferred from cat fur to plastic rod so that's why what will happen here the electron is transferred from cat fur to plastic rod that is in glass rod we have observed that the electron is transferred from glass rod to silk cloth but here what will happen the electron is transferred from cat fur to plastic rod and that's why after rubbing it get charged it get uh, it get charged or it get electrified so that's why it acquired the negative charges and this cat fur acquired the positive charges so when the another glass uh, another plastic rod we have rub on the cat fur so it also acquired the negative charges when this second plastic rod brought near to the first rod so at that time what will happen 
due to the like charges the rod get repelled to the each other the, the plastic rod get repelled to the each other similarly this cat for after rubbing this cat for acquire the positive charges because there is the deficiency of electrons similarly for another cat for so this also the like charges and due to this like charges they also get repelled to the each other so we can say that like charges repel to each other and unlike charges attracted to each other so here what will happen suppose we have taken this one glass rod or one this cat fur they get attracted because they get attracted that example we will see in next slide so suppose now we are going to take the one glass rod and another is the plastic rod if one glass rod is rub on a silk one glass rod we have rub on a silk cloth or wool the glass rod get positively charged already we have discussed this and wool or cloth uh, wool cloth sorry silk cloth or wool get negatively charged so the electron is transfer from glass rod to silk or wool but in if one rod we have taken the plastic rub on the cat fur so the plastic rod become as a negatively charged and cat fur become as a positively charged because the electron is transfer from cat fur to plastic rod so here this this is the glass rod this is the plastic rod so this glass rod we have rub on the silk so what will happen the electron is transfer from so here, here what will happen the electron is transfer from glass rod to silk and in plastic rod the electron is transfer from cat fur to plastic plastic rod so electron is transfer from glass rod to silk and in in here due to this the electron is transfer from glass rod to silk there is the deficiency of electron and that's why they acquire the positive charge and here is the excess of electron so this body become as a negative charge so initially what will happen without rubbing this glass rod or plastic rod on silk cloth or for cat fur at that time what will happen both are neutralized so at when at before rubbing both are neutralized so they cannot attract or repel because they are neutral there is no excess or deficiency of charges if there is the excess or deficiency of charges we can say that they are electrified they get charged and due to charges they can repel or attract attract so here what will happen we can say that there is no neither in, neither created charges or not destroyed charges so charges are conserved charges cannot be created or charges cannot be destroyed so only the charges transfer from one body to another body so charges conserved so what will happen after rubbing this glass rod on silk or wool the electron is transfer from this so this body become as a positively charged and this body become as a negative charge so here we have seen this glass rod after rubbing it become as a positively charge and this become as a negatively charge similarly this glass rod sorry this similarly this plastic rod we have rub on this cat fur so what will happen the electron is transfer from this cat fur to plastic rod and this plastic rod become as a negatively charged because there is excess negative charge and here is the deficiency of negative charge so it become as a positive so here what will happen here is the unlike charges so one rod become glass rod become positively charged after rubbing and plastic rod is also negatively charged after rubbing so what will happen these are the unlike charges different charges so unlike charges get attracted to each other unlike charges get attracted to each other similarly 
After rubbing, this silk cloth become as a negatively charged. This cat fur become as a positively charged. Both are the opposite charges. Unlike charges, so unlike charges get attracted to each other. So we can say that like charges repel to each other and unlike charges attracted to each other. So here, what will happen when we rub the glass rod on silk cloth? Glass rod transfer free electrons, so there is no created now created the deficiency of electron, so it become as positively charged. And other hand, silk cloth or wool get excess electrons, so it become as a negatively charged. So like charge ripple to each other, so both charge we have to take as a positive or negative, they can ripple to each other. Suppose one charge we have to take positive and another we have to negative, they can attract it to each other. So here what will happen? So glass rod, after rubbing, glass rod acquire the positive charge, silk cloth which acquire the negative charge. So similarly these are the opposite charges, they also get attracted to each other. Similarly for this glass rod and cat fur both having the same kind of charges after rubbing so they get repelled to each other. Similarly we have seen that the plastic rod, plastic rod we have rubbed on the cat fur so plastic rod become as a negatively charged and cat fur become as a positively charged so we have to take plastic rod and they get attracted because due to the opposite charges and this one we have to put the after rubbing plastic rod and silk cloth this silk cloth we have rubbed the glass rod and that's why it become as a negatively charged and this plastic rod become as a negatively charged because it is rubbed on the cat fur so both these are the like charges so like charges repel to each other and unlike charges attracted to each other Similarly, here what will happen, suppose we have take the silk or nylon thread, we have hanged two small peach or polyester balls. So here we want to consider the three example. So here we have considered the two small peach ball or polyester balls. So here what will happen, we have took the rubbed glass rod on silk. We have took the rubbed glass rod so it get positively charged and due to this positively charge this charge get transferred to this pitch or polish uh, this polystyrene balls so what will happen this polystyrene balls or pitch ball get acquired the positively charge so both acquire the positively charge and due to acquire the positively charge so like charge ripple to each other that's why it get ripple to each other similarly in second example suppose we have to take the plastic rod which is rubbed on the cat's fur so it acquired the negatively charge and once this rod brought near to this small peach or polystyrene balls so what will happen both this acquire the negatively charge and like charge ripple to each other as we have seen this positively charged. Similarly, negative charge also get repelled to each other. Suppose we have to, in third example, we have to two small peach ball or polystyrene balls. So in this polystyrene balls or peach ball, what will happen? Suppose one rod we have took the glass and another we have took as a plastic. So one rod brought near to the one peach ball and another plastic rod brought near to the Peach ball. Both these rod are elect, uh, charged. Up. After rubbing, we have to this. So here, what will happen? This positive charge is acquired by this ball, and negative charge is acquired by this ball. So both these acquire the opposite charges, opposite kind of charges, and due to that opposite kind of charges, they get attracted. They get attracted. So we can say that. The unlike charges, here is the unlike charges, one is the positive and another is the negative. So unlike charges get attracted, 
here is the two both are the positive charges here is also both are the negative charges so like charge repel to each other like charge repel to each other but unlike charge attracted to each other so above all this experiment their analysis and carefully studies by different scientists it was concluded that there were only two types of entities means charged bodies or polarity is called as electric charges one is the positive and another is the negative if the electrified glass rod electrified glass rod means the glass rod we have rub on silk or wool after the charge get transfer so glass rod get electrified when electrified glass rod brought to contact with those silk rod or wool we have rubbed this glass rod now no longer this glass rod or silk or wool attract to each other due to contact due to contact they get neutralized so here what will happen suppose we have take the electrified glass rod and silk cloth where we have rub this glass rod so after what will happen the glass rod acquire the positively charged and silk cloth or wool which acquire the negatively charged when this electrified glass rod brought near to the silk so what will happen contact to silk so charge get transfer and both the body get neutralized or nullify so that is the process neutralize or nullify due to the neutralization or nullification they cannot repel or they cannot attract the small pieces of papers so due to neutralization they do not attract or repel to the small objects due to this two type of entities or polarities that is positive and negative charges american scientist bench mean franklin name them one is the positive and another is the negative entities so so after that the nomenclature is given one is the positively charged and another is the negatively charged if the body or object possesses the excess positive or negative so electric charges then the body or object is said to be electrified or charged so we can say that if the if the body possesses the excess charges so that body at that time that body are not neutralized so one consists the excess positive charge one consists the deficiency of negative charges so at that time what will happen we can say that that body get electrified or charged if the object or body having a same amount of positive and negative charges then such type of body is said to be neutral or neutral neutralized so we can say that there is the equal amount of positive or negative charges at that time we can say that that body is neutral if if the amount of positive and negative charges are not same if amount of positive or negative charges are not same at that time we can say that that body is electrified or charged so now we are going to discuss the very important experiment that is the gold leaf electroscope so gold leaf electroscope is the device by using this device which detect the charge on a body so by using this uh, experiment or by using this uh, experiment we observe the or we detect the charged body whether that body is charged or not so we will detect the charge on a body so charge on a body we will detect so here what will happen this is the box here vertically metal rod is fixed on the basis of by using rubber by using rubber because uh, due to that is the insulating material so charge cannot transfer through the insulating material so this vertical rod metal rod is fixed or housed in a box upper metal vertical metal rod having the metal knob and at the bottom there is the gold leaves there is the gold leaves so what will happen suppose 
we have took the electrified or charged rod and that we have put here contact with metal knob so what will happen the charge is flowing through this and due to the charge is flowing through this this both these gold leaves acquire the same type of charges and due to same type of charges they get ripple they get ripple to each other they get ripple to each other so we can say that because both these leaves acquire the same type of charges and that's why it get ripple in this side and this leaf will ripple in this side if the if there is more charges flowing through this so there is the more diversion among these leaves so these are the electroscope by using this we detect the charge on a body suppose we have took the charged rod which already rub on certain body so which the electron get transfer and it become as a positively charged due to this positively charged contact with the metal knob so charge get transfer to this metal rod and due to the charge transfer this metal rod the charge also came towards the gold leaves and same kind of charges is there so that's why like charges ripple to each other and it get ripple to each other if the magnitude of charges is large if the large number of charges will flow so more number of charges get acquired in this gold leaves so there is the more diversion among these leaves so this is the gold leaves electroscope now here what will happen we have seen this all this uh, experiment so now all the matter is made up of atoms and molecules so we take any matter which consists the atom or molecule normally in a material materials charges are exactly balanced actually suppose we have take any material then the number of positive charges and number of negative charges are balanced the force that hold the atom and molecule together in the solid the force the forces in surface tension adhesive force of glue basically all these examples adhesive force in glue surface force in surface tension molecule or atoms attracted or hold due to the force in solid all these are the example of all these example are the electric in nature so basically all these forces all these forces are electrical in nature these forces are produced due to the charge particle like electron or proton the electron having negatively charged proton having positively charged so electric force are comprehensive generic which is associated with almost every field related to our life so electric force is comprehensive which is associated most of the every field which is related to human life so it is important to learn about such forces so it is important to learn what type of electric forces are there so all these forces Uh, whatever forces in electric uh, electric field produce so that we are going to discuss in this chapter charged body means which consist excess charges charged body means which consists excess charges or deficit deficit or deficiency of charges so we can say that charged body means which consist excess charges or deficiency of charges because when the glass rod is rub on a silk so what will happen the charges get transfer so one body acquire the excess charges and one body deficit or deficiency of charges and due to this they get charged so we can say that after rubbing it get charged but before rubbing they get neutral before 
rubbing they are neutral but after rubbing it get charged because charge is transferred from one body to another body so we can say that there is neither created charges nor destroyed charges so whatever the charges present initially that is conserved in solid some electrons are less tightly bound to the atom so in what will happen in solid the atoms are there and in some atom the electrons are loosely bound when we rub the glass rod when we rub the glass rod that less tightly bound electron will transfer to the silk cloth that will transfer to the silk cloth so what will happen that glass rod acquire the positive charge and the silk or wool acquire the excess negatively charged so they get negatively charged so these electrons in glass rod get transferred to the silk and glass rod losing so glass rod losing its some electron that's why there is the deficiency of electron and it become as a positively charged and silk cloth or wool gaining the excess electrons so it gaining the excess electrons so it become as a negatively charged the glass get positively charged and silk cloth get negatively charged due to this rubbing body get charged so due to this rubbing the body get charged during this process no new charge is created so there is the conservation of charges neither charge created nor destroyed so only the charge is transferred from one body to another body so uh, this all this contains for that purpose i have refer physics part first class 12 ncert book if you like this lesson please like comments and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you for watching this video till to end